Hey guys, welcome back. Today I wanted to do a video of my brand new 2021 Honda Accord. Um, it's just my daily driver since the Lexus is down, needs a motor, but uh, I wanted to show it to you a little bit. Uh, this is the 1.5 liter model. Uh, it is a sport special edition, whatever, in Sonic Gray, which I love the color. It's an awesome color. Um, I do want to end up getting the uh, chrome trim wrapped black. Uh, windows are getting tinted next week. Um, but yeah, it's got a sport special edition emblem there. Um, the spoiler is black and the wheels are pretty good if it, if it wasn't at least i would probably end up uh painting the wheels uh just to make it look a little bit better but um the front end coming around here it does have fog lights uh really nice led uh daytime running lights and uh high and low uh, lights as well um it has this black chrome trim piece on the front i kind of wish it was black just to match kind of the the rest of the car but I mean, it doesn't look too bad. Um, the mirrors are also gloss black as well. And all around, it's a pretty nice car. Has a decent amount of power. Kind of fun to drive a little bit slow right now. You can also tune these cars to, uh, you know, make them run a little bit better and a little bit faster, put a little bit more boost in the turbo and um, give it a little bit more power. I will uh, open up the hood here and let's take a look under the hood. So under the hood, nothing crazy. Just a regular Honda motor that ticks a lot. <laughs> um, turbo is down there. Intake across here. Really nothing special. Easy to maintain. Regular Honda motor. And now for the trunk. The button is right up here under the license plate. Uh, my golf clubs and detailing supplies are back here because I took them out of the Lexus um, Pretty big trunk like it goes. It, it's a pretty deep trunk. I mean I can fit a whole thing of golf clubs back here and You know, I'm, I'm happy with the room in the trunk. That's for sure um, In the back, it's just been the regular design. I think since 2018 for the the Accords um, These do have an LED brake light um, but I think the rest of it is just regular bulbs. Um, exhaust, obviously fake exhaust. You can see the tip in there. Um, the tips, I guess you call them, are chrome. And that's about it for the back. Let's take a look at the inside. So being in the inside of this thing, it, it's, it's actually really comfortable, which I was really surprised. When I went to buy this car, I had no idea that I was going to buy a Honda. Looking at Toyotas and, you know, other cars i work for the audi brand i was going to get an employee lease but audis are slim to none right now to buy one new so i couldn't find an employee lease so i had to get a car since the lexus broke down so my wife said let's go to honda um so i went to honda ended up looking at a civic and then i looked at this which i love the room in it it's got a huge back seat um and the seats are all leather and, and very comfortable um they have, I think, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve way seats, um, which you know make for driving this thing pretty comfortable. Uh, the steering wheel is, I'm pretty sure, leather wrapped. It has a really nice leather feel to it. Um, turn signals, wipers, all that on the other side. The gauge cluster is digital on the left side. Um, it looks digital on the right, but it's actually not. I think Honda did a pretty good job at that, actually making it blend in rather than having like a regular analog speedometer and then, you know, just a digital on the left, but you can't really tell. Um, going through, you know, the options here, you have, I'll start at the top, you have your tachometer, which will just do tachometer. Um, and then going back, if I can go back, there we go. Uh, range and fuel that'll show you ob obviously like you know range average fuel it has a little bar there that you can see that will kind of help you drive a little bit more economically um, trip uh, a and trip B um, I'm getting 25 miles of the gallon right now sometimes I beat on it a little bit today I've been driving it in eco mode and 
yeah, 25 miles a gallon isn't too bad, and I've been driving a lot of city. Uh, and then going next, speed and time, average speed, elapsed time, um, your trip is there as well. Going to audio, this will bring up all your radio stations, um, uh, you know, FM, AM, and then whatever you're playing on Bluetooth or Apple CarPlay or Android Auto. And then going down here, phone, you can go through, you know, and call people there. Um, traffic sign recognition, um, I like that. Uh, you can keep that up, you know, if you're on the highway or whatever, you don't know what speed you're supposed to be going, you can keep that up, it'll always remind you, and it's pretty accurate, except in maybe a construction zone or something. Going down, uh, driving support, this will show you um, how close you are to other cars. Um, and I think it does some stuff uh, with the adaptive cruise control as well. It might show you, you know, if you're coming too close or, or something like that. I'm not really too uh, experienced on, on that whole driving support thing. Uh, driver attention. I haven't really used this yet because I'm usually keeping pretty, you know, my, I'm, I'm keeping my eyes on the road most of the time. And this is supposed to be, for my salesman, supposed to be if you take your eyes off the road or you start to drowse off or whatever, um, it'll tell you when you need, you know, to maybe pull over and take a break. Um, like I said, haven't used it too much. Don't really think it's needed, um, especially for me, but uh, whatever. Rear seat belts, it'll let you know who's buckled in um, and who's not. Uh, it'll also, that thing will also come up when you start up the car every time, which I kind of find annoying and I haven't figured out a way to turn it off. Uh, maintenance going to oil life um, and then uh, safety support you can turn off your you know functions as far as uh, lane change assist and then your collision assist you can turn that off if you want um, you can get to it here or you can get to it to a button uh, right here and it'll pull it right up um, I keep the collision assist on because you know it's nice to have that safety uh, warnings obviously my seat belts not on that's the only warning so that's the whole uh, thing there. I like to keep it on auto to see what I'm listening to. Uh, mile per, uh, miles an hour in the middle. Um, the little leaf there, I'm in eco mode now. If I turn it off, uh, eco economic mode will go off. Um, and then you also have sport mode. When you kick it into sport mode, it gets a nice little um, you know, gauge cluster on the left there, shortened sportier gauge cluster with the, with the um, a turbo gauge uh, to show. I don't think that's really boost pressure. I think that might be bar. Um, but yeah, it'll change that when you put it in sport mode, then it'll change the red. And I like driving in sport mode. Uh, these are the two buttons here, economical, um, uh, or you have sport. And then um, going through the other buttons here, uh, auto, auto on and start, whatever that is. I always turn it off because I freaking hate it. Turn it off every time I get in a car. Uh, brake hold, I kind of like that feature in this car. Um, if you have your seatbelt on and you have to have your seatbelt on, um, when you push brake mode or brake hold, um, it'll actually, when you brake and come to a complete stop, it'll hold the brake and it'll come up on the screen, the right screen over here. And when you hold the brake, it'll stay held until you push on the gas and then it'll automatically release the brake, which is nice for traffic conditions or if you're sitting at long periods of time at a traffic light. I do like that feature. Um, they finally, finally, finally put the regular shifter in this car, which I love. I hate the button shifter that they usually put in the Accords. Um, I'm glad it's an actual shifter because I hated the button shifters. Uh, going up to climate control, um, pretty basic climate control settings. You know, you have your AC button. Um, it's really nice, powerful AC. You can change, you know, your temperature here. And I kind of like that it'll... You know, once you go up, the, the things will start turning red. If you go down, they'll start turning blue. Um, that's, that's kind of a cool feature. Uh, heated seats in this model. Uh, hazards button going up to here. I'm not going to go through all of this, but um, it's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, when you plug in your phone, you have uh, Android Auto or uh, Bluetooth or um, uh, um, Apple CarPlay that will come up here. Um, you can click on that. Apple CarPlay is awesome in this car. Had no issues with it. Even bought this little short um, actual Apple cord, which, you know, I usually put my phone right in here. Um, and, you know, it's nice for Apple CarPlay. Um, trip computer, I'm not sure really what that does yet. You go through your settings, um, you know, messages, stuff like that. It's a really quick screen to, you know, scroll 
or through. Um, if you're going to, you know, FM, if you're going to FM, it'll, you know, put on uh, whatever stations you can set them, blah, blah, blah. So it also has a brightness setting here, which you can control your brightness, which is nice. Not a lot of models have that, you know, just right there on the screen where it's easy to control it. Um, two USB things here or down here. And then um, I plug my radar detector in there. Um, there's also two USBs back here for uh, rear seat passengers. So that's pretty much the interior. Um, back seat's big there's a lot of dog hair back there now because i dropped the dog off the daycare um the only thing that i think the two biggest things that i do not like about this car is doesn't have a sunroof which whatever um and the the audio is not the greatest i had a, a literally a fifteen thousand dollar ford eco sport that was like probably one of the cheapest Fords you can buy and it had an awesome sound system and this doesn't you know and this is almost twice the price um it you know it has okay sound doesn't really have that much bass um which whatever you know if you if you don't like music whatever and that's not a big deal to you then then great but um I'll live with it don't care and I mean that's pretty much it let's let's go for a ride and i'll show you kind of how it drives through the different modes and stuff like that and uh maybe use the paddle shifters which i'm not sure why they put paddle shifters in this car because it's a cbt transmission um and it really doesn't do much but um i'll show you a little bit uh driving it around all right so we'll go for a little drive here um steering feels pretty tight and I mean, it really has a nice sporty ride. Like the suspension is, is a lot stiffer than most vehicles. So we are in uh, just the regular mode now. If I go into economy mode, the economy thing will come on. I'll put it into sport mode first and uh, give you guys kind of a little rip here. Not like it's the fastest car in the world, but I mean, it has a lot of pickup for a little motor with a turbo on it. Um, obviously, the 2 liter is a lot quicker than this one. They said you can tune those things up to like 300 horsepower. But, I mean, this is plenty of power for me for a daily driver. Um, handling through the curbs, it's, it's nice and tight. being in like regular mode or economy mode it you know it drives a lot it drives a lot smoother you know it it will the rpms will go down and stay under you know a thousand rpms when you're coasting which saves a lot of fuel mileage um when you're in sport mode the, the rpms will kind of stay hanging you'll have a lot of um, engine braking from that but like even on the highway i can be doing 80 miles an hour and an economy mode or something take my foot off the gas and it'll just automatically coast which will give me great fuel mileage one thing that i i can't wait to get done is the, the, the tinted windows on this car because so i i haven't driven a sedan in a while but when you drive a sedan everybody can see you and i kind of like the privacy so once the windows are tinted this thing will be a lot more comfortable um, uh, going through the paddle shifters here if I put it into sport mode and you can see right there oh, a little focus right there the uh, gear indicator will come up and you can switch gears and stuff go down to first gear Paddle shifters are a nice feel. I don't really ever use them too much, but, but overall, not terrible. I guess I didn't make that light. But anyways, I mean, just 
you know, going from a daily driver that I had for, let's see, I had that Ford for three years, I leased that car, and it was like, you know, it had no power, it was really boring to drive, I felt like an old man, and it, like, it was just not the greatest car, I had a lot of problems with it, and then going into this car, which has a little bit more power, um, you know, it's, it's a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more sportier, it's nice. And it's nice to have that. But, um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much all I wanted to show you with this car. If you have any questions or, or want to see me, you know, do anything to this car, let me know. Um, I have been thinking of maybe ordering a, an intake or, you know, maybe a tune for this car to see how different it is going from a factory tune to, you know, uh, a tune like a, like a, in a K tuner that, you know, ups the boost pressure and, you know, gives it a little bit more fuel to, to add a little bit more power, which would probably be fun in this car, because I've heard that you can use the different sport, the, the mode buttons to control it, like economy, or economy mode, will be like the regular, you know, OEM tune, and then the regular mode will be, you know, a little bit more power, and in sport mode would be a lot more power, so I kind of think that'd be fun a little bit to play with, especially if I'm going to be daily driving this to work every day, so let me know if you guys want to see stuff like that. Uh, while the Lexus is down and while I'm ordering parts for that or, or you know trying to make more videos for you guys like that And it's gonna be a lot of fun, but if you like this video like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one